and we have a widow of one of the uh, people who died in Afghanistan in the circumstances that are not covered and uh, she can further assist with that would be Tracy Volke. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Zimmerman. Mrs. Volke. Good morning. My name is Tracy Volke and I'm the surviving spouse of Major Paul C. Volke who was killed by an MRAP, which is a mine resistant ambush protected vehicle in 2012 in Mazari Sharif, Afghanistan. He was supporting special forces in a combat zone during Operation Enduring Freedom. Paul earned three bronze stars, the combat infantryman badge, and several other accolades during his 14 years of service. I became a widow at age 37, and Paul and I had two young children. They were six and eight, and we owned a home in Virginia. I had applied for the killed in action property tax exemption under Virginia law in Fairfax County and was granted relief but then three years later sent a notice that I would have to pay back three years of property taxes. Um, when Paul was a company commander in 2004, he worked for then um, Colonel Milley, who was became General Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and he picked me to help advise Army and Joint Senior Leaders on the benefits. The Army makes no distinction between those that died in the line of duty and those that were killed in action my family would be immensely benefited by this constitutional amendment. Um, freedom is not free, and we're all here today because of strong Americans who took the oath um, to bleed and die for our country, and my family pays the price. Um, please support this constitutional amendment and help my family and others like it. Thank you so much.